Welcome to my custom interloper run. I'm Nifo29, and here's what's in our backpack. We're a little underweight. Uh, what do we got? We got some coal. We have a whole bunch of sticks, which is amazing, because I have a fire that I made with reclaimed wood. <laughs> uh, everything in there is good. Clothing is all pretty good. Uh, food, we're all right. We have lots of food out in the boat, though. We have water on the, on the fire. Uh, 36 and 35, we're probably going to have to make a bow. Knife is at 93. You're at 94. We can sharpen you up. Actually, let's do it right now so I don't forget. All right, that's at 99. That's good. Um, there's what we got in there. And we need some more cloth, but that's okay for now. We're on day 230, and here's our skills. Fishing and rifle, three and four. Revolver and gunsmithing are three and four. So it is early morning. Oh yeah, 34 minutes until boiled and 46 minutes. And it is early morning, still dark. I'm just going to have a check what is in here. Oh. Um, let's take that, shut that off. We got about 30 minutes. Yeah. Uh, I guess 3.7. Let's go with that. There we go. Uh, you are done. And what was our bedroll at? 84. Let's get that up to 100. There we go. Uh, is there anything we need from here? Not really, I don't think, eh? Uh, these can all stay. Uh, what's... What are you at? 29 and 29? I think it's time to take some matches. We don't need that. We'll take these though. I can drop any of this gear. That gives us three. Uh, that's at 80% and the one we're carrying is... Oh, coach, you're gonna hate me. The one we're carrying is at uh, 84. That is brutal. An hour and a half to get one piece of leather. That is horrible. Uh, but now we have a piece of leather, so... Yeah. Coach is probably screaming right now, shaking his... Shaking his head. My boots, my boots, but I'm wearing your boots. And they're at 92. Alright, let's go out. So we're still waiting, are we not? We're still waiting for, uh, where am I? We need an Aurora to go that way. And we're trying to attract wolves. I want to go this way. There's a cave over here. In story mode, I think you get a wolf code or something in story mode, or it's this the Sasquatch thing. I forget, but I think it's just right up around this corner. May as well go check it out. I really can't remember if there's ever been any loot in there. There might be something. If I remember correctly, it's pretty easy to find. 
You know what I should have done? I should have dropped all those sticks. That's like five, almost five and a half kilograms. You have food in that cave, but you have food all over the region. Yeah. Of course you do. There's our buddies. I used to always look at the birds when they were flying overhead. Now I don't. Um, this is minus 19 on the wind. That's why we're walking slow. Um, let's I grab three more. What does that put us for weight? An even six. So I don't know, how long should we wait for an Aurora here? To go get that, uh... You're a hint, we got you. And you're a cash that we got. How long do you figure? A couple days? Or should we wait? tonight and leave in the morning if we don't get one. I'm open to suggestions. Y'all are the ones that are watching it, so... If you want me to leave, I'll leave. But I'm curious as to what's in that cache. see the bunnies. There's probably a sapling or two up here, isn't there? A couple of days sounds good. Alright. Ooh, look at all the sticks! I'm not taking any of them, though. Just saying, there's a whole bunch. Well, by the time... Oh, there we go. We got three saplings. By the time we get here, we're going to have to actually warm up. I'll grab these saplings on the way back. No point adding to the weight while we're trying to walk into the wind. We're not directly into the wind, but we are walking into it a little bit. It's going that way. Um... Ooh... There we go. We got another deer hide. Oh, look at you. I think I can use this. Take the hide. We don't need to take the meat, but why not, right? I'm thinking we go back to the farmhouse and uh, start crafting a bow. I'm just going to leave that there for now. Whoops. Uh, I'm debating on... Do I don't think I need to be taking feathers. We still had like 130 or something like that, didn't we? I don't know. Maybe that was before we crafted all the arrows, but... There we go. We got a new cave. That we haven't been to in this run. It's actually an old cave. Oh, look at they hid you. Oh, look at you. I'll take it. Well worth it. Field dressing. Uh, we're done that, aren't we? Yeah, we are. Alright, uh... What can we do? We have... 9 cloth. You're 88. Uh, you'll go up by point 0.1. You'll point 0.1. I don't want to use the leather. You'll go up by point 0.2. And we have lots of down, so... 
perfect. That warmed us up completely. I'm kind of liking not having to take the books anywhere, just read them and dump them. As the wind died down, it has a little. I'm not sure I can carry much more. All right, let's uh, let's eat you, and we'll fill our belly, I guess. And the bladder. That super doper fun rule with the books. That was funny. I, you know what? I didn't, I didn't hate it. It was actually more of a challenge than I expected. Like I actually never expected it to be a challenge at all. I just thought, you know, maybe it's a minor inconvenience that all the red books or all the books I've read have to go to one location, but early game when you don't have your full carry capacity that's actually a, a, a fairly big hassle and then uh, when we changed the rule to just bring one of each book that was almost worse because then I had to try to remember which books I had and which ones I didn't if I ever did it again, I would just stick with taking all of them. Just maybe not focus so much on making sure that they all go there ASAP. Leave them somewhere and come back when we can carry them. I think a f uh, completely red book should be... Uh, a little lighter since you took all the knowledge out of it. Ah. <laughs> I kid, I kid. I aren't that dumb. What do we got now? We got 30 arrows. And we have a broken arrow. I am surprised though that we haven't seen a single wolf. Surely I haven't taken all of them out. Could just be what I was saying yesterday. Maybe maybe the ones that are able to get to this area are gone. But I don't know that to be a fact. Uh, let's just, I guess we'll just walk down the road. Uh, let me think. You know what? I might stop at the barn. And, uh, grab the hide and the guts. I'll leave, uh, the meat there. That can stay. But I kind of wonder, like, if I... Will I have more success with wolves if I'm a little bit out here? Can't hurt, can it? I'm going to go around this way because there's usually a wolf or two over here. These ones may already be down. Where are these crows? Oh, they're flying over again. So once we get an Aurora and we get that, uh, that signal cache, is that what they're called? Signal caches? Is that what we're calling those? 
Uh, once we get a, that picked up, uh, I think our next destination will be Mountain Town. But uh, I think I found a cache in Mystery Lake. We might stop in Mystery Lake. Like, what we might do is, like, you know, um, Mountain Town is the destination, but because we have to cross through Mystery Lake, um, we might spend a couple of days there waiting for an Aurora just so we could uh, have a peek. I do think I got a signal cache there, though. You just call them caches, but yeah, signal cache. Yeah, I figure signal cache is a better term because there are little caches that you can find. Those little yellow boxes. I do have all of, uh, where are they? Nine? Yeah, I have. I'm looking for a moose. I'm looking. I'm not seeing, though. I don't think this is the proper music if there was a moose. <laughs> this is, uh, to me, this is calming music and seeing a moose out there would not be calming. Wow, three bars of scent and nothing. I really hope we get an Aurora tonight, because if there's nothing out here, uh, we could always go to the crash site and get the bear that's out there, but how many bears do we need? just wanted to watch uh, straight ahead where my dot is. I wanted to watch to see if that was moving or not. I'm going to check around. I don't remember if I checked around this building for reclaimed wood. I might have, but who knows? You need a hundred. That's your aim for your run. How many do we have? We have 29 or 30. We have 29. Five moose. And I believe six seen. <laughs> and I never count rabbits and deer. They don't really count. Because technically, although I didn't do the killing, when you lure them to a wolf or you lure a wolf to them you're the reason they died but you don't get the credit for it which you shouldn't i don't think you should but it is still technically your kill technically so i just don't bother counting those don't ones drop any of this gear Right, we got all of those. Uh, we're warm, so let's just go. You have 46 and you're on day 439, so you're ahead of the curve. Yes, you are. Well, we got 29 on day 240, right? That's what day we were on? 230. Uh, should I? What do I have for feathers on me? I just have two. All the feathers, I believe, are inside the farmhouse. It's the time of days. Uh, I think if we get there right away, I mean, if I don't dawdle, 
think we can finish the boat today. What are you? Piece of hay floating in the air, little tiny piece. Today's word is Royster. I like the pronunciation. It's just the word split into two. <laughs> it is pronounced Roy Stir. And that means to act in a swaggering, boisterous, or uproaring manner. Are you implying anything, Merc? Look at that big fat juicy buck. Yeah, they're just unbelievable. Not a wolf in sight. This is where you ask that question. What do I stink? But that's kind of the opposite of <laughs> we do stink. You clicked random on your dictionary app and that's what came up. Yeah, I, I really like that pronunciation. <laughs> just, eh, just cut the word in half. They'll figure it out. It's old school. Sound it out. Clap for each syllable. just barren it's just us us and them crows so they don't like talking to us you found it amusing as well i'm trying to i mean i'm sure that's not the only word out there that they've done a pronunciation for it that way but i i'm actually surprised that they didn't spell roy differently Like with a Y in the pronunciation, just to make it look more official. <laughs> that happened late on a Friday afternoon before a long weekend. Buddy wanted to get out. <laughs> Screw it. <laughs> His boss had a peek at it. Yeah, yeah that'll work. I'm going to go this way. Well, let's see if we can summon Darth. Um, where are you? I'm pretty sure I had those. Hey, where did they go? Uh, food. Yeah, there. are. I'm pretty sure I had those checked off, but then I threw them into a, a bin somewhere. I'm gonna do this just in case. Nada. I made you think of a YouTube channel that made a show about how things were named. You remember the show? Like, did you guys ever have that show, How It's Made? And they show you how things are made. I liked that show, but I was always like, don't they have a show that shows us how they 
came up with the contraptions that make the items as well. Oh, it was a f comedy show, not a factual show. Okay. Murd only learns from books, not the telly. I call it the telly because I watch YouTube on my TV more than anywhere else. You probably don't. Alright, I should have this out. Okay, let's go in. This pack is getting too heavy to carry. Alright, Mr. Deer hides. And one, two, three, we'll go right here. I love that you can just do this. Whoops. Hey, fool. It's not perfect. I don't care. Okay. How many, what is a bow? survival bow two guts and a sapling uh, there we go That works. There we go. We got a sapling. Let's go. You know what I want to do as well? You're broken. And is that enough? How many? Uh, we only have, we have one. So we have, yeah, we got enough. I missed. Uh, hey. Oh, I don't have an arrow shaft? Oh. Well. Alright, let's eat and drink. Um, I actually, I'm gonna go dump this meat. Oh, I got stuck on that box again. I'm going to go dump this meat and I'm going to grab some cooked meat and fill the belly. This pack is getting kind of heavy. Ah, uh, you're the cooked meat. All right, that's wolf. You're wolf. Deer is way over here, and it's actually a full kilogram piece anyway, so it doesn't matter. Now let's do that. Hey, Cherry Lum, welcome in. How are you doing? Oh, you're another 20 hour book. Oh, I'm going to take that one. That's rifle. Is that, are we still able to read that? No. Our skills are too advanced. Oh, I guess we have to take that one. Where can I drop? This is where I guess I can drop them. Whoops. Hey, hey, hey. Let's make sure these are red. Yeah. Uh, these two. This is probably really stupid wasting an hour, but uh, you know what? We don't have enough time in the day to finish the bow anyway, so sure I can carry much more. get that out of the way. Uh, we got three of you. Eat that. Drink that. 
and we'll head downstairs and I guess get as much of the bow that we can, maybe an hour or two. Alright. I'm gonna just put it for five because who knows. If we get an Aurora though, I'm stopping it. Okay. Uh, you know what? Why walk upstairs when we can just do this? Will Knife will find where he dropped arrow shafts? Whoops. Stay tuned. The answer? No, Nifo won't even look for them. <laughs> oh, man. Too early. We'll see about that. Not there. It's probably upstairs in the big bin, which is not where I normally like. Normally, I would keep them in that in that file cabinet. Let's do that. Uh, actually, I'm gonna take all of those. And three, three. I'm going downstairs just because, I mean, it's still too dark to do anything, but you know what we can do? Kill time doing this. Uh, it actually might be bright enough once we finish this one. It is ever so close I wonder if I can drop any of this gear all right I was just oh hey I guess I should actually pick you up uh... oh are you serious it's like right there you know what, maybe if I eat and drink, maybe that'll kill enough time. It actually did. It was literally a sliver. Um. Oh, we're almost done. We almost finished it. I didn't think we got that much time on it. I am happy with that. Look at that shiny bow. Uh, I'm going to carry all these. Um, I should probably throw you back down, right? Put you there. What is our... You're at 80. I don't think I need to repair that yet. I think I have deer hides in... A few regions. I don't think it's necessary. Uh, I definitely don't need those. But one thing I can do is probably ditch these two bows here. How heavy is that again? 154. Uh... I'm going to pick all three of them up because I'm going to drop all three of them. And now they look all proper. Alright, do we have any more of those crates? We do. I should probably start reading that book. That's a 20 hour book. I'm just looking for crates.
I don't think there's one in the toilet. Is this? Oh, hey, that'll work. Oh, that was perfect timing. I think that's, I think that blizzard's over. It's time midday. Are you one of those two just for future reference? Yeah, you are. I wish all of the chairs like that. Now see, you're a different cherry because you are actually a rocking chair, so I won't complain about that. There's still a couple of chairs. You're a chair, a regular one. But there are some of those chairs. They look exactly the same, but it, they're just purely a hatchet. Maybe I'm missing something on them that is different, but maybe I'm not. I don't know. Got seven of you. Uh, we got 133. I'm not sure I can carry much more. I'll take those. I'm gonna take. Is that six or is that five? That's six. Okay, that works. Uh, we only have one bar of scent at this point, but. Well, I guess, um, you know what? Let's go up here. Let's make sure that everything's gone from there. We have 32 arrows. Oh, and I have that. I have all those sticks. Well, we're going to Pensive, we're going to Signal Hill, and just kind of looking for that bear. And one bar of scent should be enough to attract the wolves in the area. Uh, that way, if we do get an Aurora, we might be able to actually, if we start off at the, uh, the community hall, we might actually be able to to make it to these two and see if there's anything there as well uh what's our weight 52 let's do that kind of almost want to actually just spend our time here cooking more pies but i think if we start there we go there get it and we come back here get these two we probably spend the night at uh or whatever's left of the night. We'll probably spend it there at Signal Hill. Then we can come back over here, drop any of the stuff we didn't want. And while we're there, we'll cook up uh, a couple of pies. Probably just two because we have, uh, I believe we only have two skillets there. Hey, look, Murd, I'm going the right way. <laughs> Knifeo, do the right thing. I never do the right thing. Where's the fun in doing the right thing? The right thing never makes you say, uh oh. <laughs> we do slalom. 
super slow slalom. Yes, I do the knifeo thing. Knifeo being knifeo doing knifeo things. Let's double check in here and see what was in here. I remember finding a regular rifle over here. I don't remember if I brought it to the... Yeah, it's probably... It's probably, to be honest, it's probably right on the table and I probably keep walking right by it as I look at the bullets. And my brain is just not focused on looking at the rifle, so I just never notice it. It's like hidden in plain sight. It's funny because I'll remember that I found a rifle in there and left it. But I won't remember that I found a rifle in there and left it and came and picked it up and moved it to a better location. Oh, the warden's revolver is next to that. Uh, you know what? I totally forgot about that. And we still have to go to Timberwolf Mountain and get the the curators. What is, what's there? The curators? Uh, it wouldn't. The Vons wouldn't be there. And uh, is it the hunters? I believe, or the foresters? No, it would be the hunters. Because the foresters is bleak. So it wouldn't be in Timberwolf Mountain. Not unless I made a major oops and forgot to drop it off. <laughs> Not like I've never done that before. Alright, there's gotta be a wolf or two out here. What are you squawking at? Oh, hey, I told ya. <laughs> Doink. The Vaughn's rifle found in Timberwolf Mountain. Curator's rifle found in Timberwolf Mountain. Hunter's revolver found in Timberwolf Mountain. Why did I have the Bonds rifle in Timberwolf Mountain? This will come in handy. Keep your coat, bruh. Nope. Right there. It's kind of warm in his head. That's gonna suck. Is that a is that a cave? Oh, I took it to Timberwolf Mountain because I forgot I had it on me when I was leaving Pleasant Valley. Why would I have it in Pleasant Valley? Obviously because I left Mystery Lake. Forgetting that I had it. Nothing. Uh, do that. Took it when I went through the dam. Why do you remember all this stuff? <laughs> and why don't I? Why can't I remember? And do that. Helps the weight a little bit. Uh, now I believe I have to go that way. That this body kind of. 
me off course. But the good news, we got rid of one wolf. So already it's a slightly safer journey than it was previous to us coming here. Yeah, and the hunters was in the bunker in Ash Canyon and obviously the curators was in Ash Canyon as well. I do need a journal. Murd keeps notes for me, but I don't exactly inspect them every time before a stream. I, I just kind of look at him when he posts them and hope I remember. <laughs> I shouldn't say that because he might, he might be like, wait, well, why am I doing this? If you're not studying these things. All right, clearly we've been in there. Nasty is the wind minus twenty one. You note it when I ask and stream, you know the answer. Yeah, I'm jealous. I wish I had a good memory. Maybe there's a side benefit to not having a good memory. Maybe I have trauma in my life that I don't want to remember. And so the big guy said, we will make that memory not as good. <laughs> I don't think I had any trauma, but how would I remember? I'm going right around this rock. I'm surprised though, all the way up here and only one wolf so far. Surely there's going to be one or two closer to uh, Signal Hill. And this bear should be around, I think, anyway. Or could we only have three? We only have three bears. Because we have, if, if, if this makes any sense to you, we have the bear that way. We have the birch bear and we have the bear across the road, I think. Well, don't we also have the bear way out there by the crash site? That would be four. I hear you clucking over there. You're forgetting when you were forced to eat mushrooms, probably that. That's worth making oneself forgetful. The only time I think I've ever eaten mushrooms in my life. Because I don't recall my mom ever making me. Even though she, she liked them. Uh, the only time was like 30 odd years ago. I probably shouldn't say this, but it was 30 odd years ago when I was a little inebriated and they were the funny kind covered in chocolate. And I was so inebriated that I don't even know if what they did. And I don't even care because I don't do those things. I'm boring. I'm very boring.
Okay, Grandpa Naifo. <laughs> hey, I'm 52. I'm old enough to be a grandpa. I'm so boring that when I went to, uh, I got a hamburger and I asked, like, you know, no pickles, no onions, no tomatoes. <laughs> Is that a food truck? at the uh, a Halloween event last week when my food was ready buddy yells my name out I go up to the window and he's like here's your burger with lettuce <laughs> like, dude shut up <laughs> hey Eddie good luck welcome in yeah 52 But I feel like 29. Does that count? Wow, look at this. We're going to get a blizzard. You don't believe? Oh, you bugger. Oh, you can't do that. That was... That was... That was, you know what that was. I anticipated him walking this way, which is why I shot where he did, but he was in the midst of fleeing and then he's like, nah, psych, I'm going to come and get you. If he ruined anything, I will kill him. I will annihilate his entire family. Or die. <laughs> One of the two. It was at this moment that he knew. He <laughs> fucked up. Yeah. That's right. You thought I was in my 30s? Eddie thought I was 22? Aw, you're sweet. <laughs> nah. It's a goddamn freezing. I was alive for the Summit series. If you know what that is, you're way cooler than people who don't know what it is. <laughs> I shouldn't say that because I think in 72 hockey wasn't nearly as popular as it was or is now. Yep, the summit the summit series was basically what I don't even know what they call it these days. It's the Four Nations Cup now because Gary Bettman's an idiot. But the the famous Canada Cup is what it used to be called until Bettman again, Mister. Hey, I'm an American. We can't have that. Why not? We created it. Nobody else complained about it. Yeah, it's a hockey thing. I was literally three days old when uh, Canada beat the Russians. So I always tell people I was here for that game. <laughs> I'm not even lying. I was probably in the living room with my parents while they were watching it. And the other family members who all came over. So I don't think I'm really lying by saying I was there for it. It was to, to us to, in Canada, the, the, the Canada Cup was like the equivalent to uh, like, uh, what do you call that? I'm not trying to be funny either. I legit forgot. <laughs> the World Cup. For y'all in, uh, Europe and around. It's a big deal. People would gather, have hockey parties, watch parties.
Yeah, let's run. I believe we're spending the night here, unfortunately, but. Was that just wind? Leaves his bow, his bow holstered. I thought I heard the bear. Maybe I didn't. Now right, let's get in here. I'm not sure I can carry much more. Right. I didn't leave anything here by chance, did I? Like, I left that cardboard box. <laughs> You're empty, empty, empty. I want the cassette. It doesn't even acknowledge the cassette tape. It's like, nah, it's just a metal shelf. I just give these all a quick and you, you, yeah. I saw a YouTuber, an actual Canadian one, come over and be like, hey, oh, okay, we can't rip that apart. And I just shook my head. Like, why would you be able to? You fool. Alright, what are we gonna do? It's almost bedtime. Um, well, I guess what we're gonna do... You're at 87. You, I mean, you're not bad. Where's... You're at 99. It wasn't that bad of an attack, to be honest. Everything's pretty good. I'm not repairing something just to grab a point one. I'm not using leather on 89 boots when it's my only, and I'm not using it on an 84, and I'm not using it on that. What? can we do? We can't take you apart because no hacksaw. And we don't want scrap metal anyway. If anything, we want wood. Uh, what's our water like? 372. We don't even need to do that. It's just a little bit too nasty outside. <laughs> How do you know? How do you know it was a female? Maybe it was a male wolf. Well, let's break this down. Oh, you know what? I'm not even noticing this chair. Uh, is there anything else? Any more cardboard just to get rid of it? Oh, Murd wants a stretch. I'm gonna go right into the corner. Drop you guys. Um, oh, wow, it's too dark to read. Well, I guess it's uh, time to eat and drink and oh, I need condition recovery and I didn't take any of my tea. I'm also wondering, I'm going to sleep for an hour. go. Thanks, Mert. Alright. That was my attempt at trying to get an Aurora. Oh, wait. That was an hour, right? Wow. We didn't lose any... This... Oh, I'm an idiot. I forgot that I drank. All right, uh, still too early. 
The weather's bad. It's too dark to do anything. I'm going to try to read. It's not going to let me, but I'm going to try because sometimes crazy things happen. All right, that won't happen. We can't. Yeah, there's nothing in there I want to do. Uh, do that. That almost, almost put us there. Let's do that. Now we can read. Hour by hour. I'm going to do one more hour just to get more light. And we'll drink up. What is our weight? 49. I should almost, oh, break you down. I should almost drop all of the sticks and take a piece of cedar. I think I can take all of the cedar that's out here. <laughs> I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. And that. And we're lighter already. So that is three kilograms. We got half the weight of the wood. Well, let's go this way. We do have scent, so I mean, if there is a bear around here, it might. It was big, that ugly head. I don't think he's here though. Bears are actually kind of cute, kind of. So they're gnawing on your leg. Just making sure that I didn't have uh, any afflictions I didn't happen to notice. What's the actual temperature? It's minus 15 is what it feels like. Uh, let's kind of cut through this area. Got a bunny down there. Uh, yeah, I'm not seeing anything. You think polar bears look the cutest and are the most deadly? Yeah, they are. They are apparently like the bear to fear. Well. Not like you shouldn't fear all the other ones, <laughs> but. I don't know, man. If you had to face off with a bear, you might want to choose the polar bear. <laughs> Do you actually want to survive the attack? Or do you just want it done? <laughs> just finish it now. Do it. I think I told you I saw a video of a guy that got attacked by the same bear three times. Three different times. Well, and he was still able. It was a grizzly. He was still able to get to his vehicle and leave a note. I believe he wrote the note with the blood that was on his hands because he said he couldn't feel his hands or whatever. And good luck holding a pen. 
But he left a note uh, cautioning other hikers. Blink. And drove himself to the hospital whilst calling his uh, his wife to let him to let her know. <laughs> You'd rather face off against a bear, which isn't a bear, like a koala bear. You think it would be dumb? Is this the dumbest thing ever? We'll see. Aren't pandas kind of nastier than they look? I really haven't searched you. <laughs> wow. There's never anything in here, though. Oh, okay. Call me a liar. I got some puppy food. Okay. Dog's best friend. And a bag. Polar bears can speak. You can trade and collaborate with them. They don't reason though. They don't know how to reason. They just see meat and they're like, yeah, that's food. Oh, I guess I should have stayed in there, eh? I'm still freezing. I will grab these. I will go back right into that cave and probably drink a birch bark tea and read for a bit. Oh, they're maples again. We don't really need maples. Wow, I haven't even been here. What's wrong with me? Go back. Oh, hello. Got a broken arrow. What are we at? 30? And do we have one broken arrow on us or do we have two? I don't know. I'll find out when we're warm. There we go. Drop everything there. Uh, you know what? Instantly. It is minus one. Oh, we have to. Oh, hey, hey, oh. Man, what's wrong with me? Why do I have to be me? You get you. Uh, drink one of you. We still have eight, and I guess we'll read the book for an hour and hope we don't see a big dark figure right there. I've seen that in my games and it's not fun. They don't attack you while you're in that animation, so if you're lucky. Man, this pack is getting kinda heavy. If you're lucky they'll just uh kind of circle around. But don't do stupid things like that. With scent. Unless you want the heart rate to go up, then you can do it. All right, let's go, go this way. Or should we kind of go that way? You know what? I'm, I don't know. We got one bar of scent. I can go take 0.5 off of that deer, but. We <laughs> thanks, Murph. Sp 
spooky heartbeat. Um, I want to go back to the picnic area while we go this direction because I don't recall going there in this run. But just because I don't recall anything doesn't mean it's true. I may have been there once. I might have even gone there saying already that I don't remember going there. And <laughs> yeah, this might be the third or fourth time we've gone there. Uh, it is definitely the first time I've gone in this direction to it. I don't see even any bear tracks, so I don't think there is a bear out here. Nice and sunny. What is it? Minus seven is what it feels like. That's where we should be bum sliding. Whee! on us um, I'm reluctant to chuck it because every time I have a rock I don't use it but then as soon as I chuck it at some point I'm like man I wish I had a rock so I think I'll just try to get accustomed to keeping one it's 0.15 kilograms to carry a rock there it is 0.15 that's a heavy rock I think I don't know what 0.15 kilograms feels like but I think it's worth its weight literally one rock could save your life Or it can end it quicker if you uh, misjudge your throw and actually attract the animal towards you rather than scaring it off. The picnic area is right down there. Watch, we'll end up at the, at the, you know that place. At the community hall. We'll spend the night. We'll get an Aurora. And while we're walking out to here. And and the, the, the three locations we want to check. All these wolves will have respawned. Oh, I haven't been here yet. Is there a hatchet? Not like I need it. Oh, it's better. It's a knife. 83 is that even better 87 it's close well now i'm glad i actually came here this is why i do the things i do because you never know around 150 grams or an average weight of a peach got to warm up somehow Lewis. minus 11 now it's getting colder there is seriously nothing here now the game knows i want an aurora so it's like ha ha ha, ha you're not getting one you had enough 
they don't teach you or they don't teach you they don't uh, keep track of the amount of auroras do they it's probably not the best place to be looking I mean they keep track of uh, a lot of things why why wouldn't they keep track of an aurora maybe they do and I've just never actually looked at it lizards no they don't why wouldn't they this game actually shows that the, there's no winners in war there really it never is. It's so cold. I just want to lay down for a bit. I hear ptarmigan somewhere over there, but I'm going to leave them alone because we have lots of down. Just trying to use uh, routes so that I haven't been taking, just to make things a little bit different. Go to different spots, I guess. Uh, we do need to warm up. Come on. made the weight into something a Canadian would understand. Yeah, but this Canadian doesn't eat tuna, so he doesn't know how much, like what it feels like to hold the can. Although I do know, because I have four cats, I do know what a can of cat food weighs. And that is basically this tuna with a different label. If you don't believe me, open a can of tuna around your cat and then and, and answer why they go absolutely nuts. Because they think, hey, that's for us. Yuck. A hockey puck. I forget how much actually a hockey puck actually weighs. It's ounces though. I believe. My job was never to know how much a, a puck weighed. It was to make sure it hit me. Make sure it didn't go behind me. Stop it at all costs. That's the fun part about being a goalie is that you can't be like, eh, I don't really feel like trying right now. Kind of winded. <laughs> Meanwhile, that your defensemen are doing that every second shift. <laughs> I'm not sure I can carry much more. Nobody remembers the defenseman that was slacking, but oh, do they remember a goalie that was just not even trying. I never ever did that. I always tried. I had pride. Uh, I might leave you right there. Let's eat that piece. It weighs around 160 grams. You did write that. Did it not come up? No. Oh. I don't know. All of a sudden my words are different on my screen. I see the game actually shows us there's no winners in war. Or it's about nine tenths as heavy as a hockey puck, which is about 160-ish grams. Oh, I totally missed that. I read the two underneath it. Duh. My bad. Sorry. Oh well, it gave me something to talk about. Something to yammer on about. <laughs> Yakety yak yak yak. Uh, four. We 
have seven. And we're not repairing anything. What are we going to do? We can't just read. We can't just read and pull apart chairs. People aren't going to watch to like, ooh, I wonder if he's going to pull apart that chair. Nobody says that. 38 minutes. Can I take you? Oh, look at you. Pills on the floor. Uh, please give us an Aurora tonight so that we can have something somewhat exciting happen today. Uh, you know what we can do? We can make, uh, not with you. We can make some, uh, birch bark. tea don't we we have two but we're gonna drink it. so you know what we will do that and we will do that and I think one more we're just basically wasting it but I don't care I'll do it again one day too let's go crouch when I exit just because uh, see I have no meat out here why why so where do we think that that cash is do we think it's like in this little area or do, do you think it might be down by the water or do you think it's actually across the bridge i was kind of thinking it might be just in this right behind the store but i might be wrong what is the temperature oh it's plus six You think the other side of the bridge? Maybe in this area? Like, uh, amongst the rubble? Come on, boy. Blink. Trying to get some scent. We'll see. You know what I should have done? Oh no, you can't do it anymore though, right? You can't micro harvest. Unless you uh, nibble away. You know what? I'm going to do it by 0.5. Because I'm doing this not not for food. I'm not cooking it ever. I'm just using it for for scent. So I will leave you if there's any cannibals in the pack. So what does that do for us? That gives us one bar. I think normally it's like six pieces of raw meat will give you three bars this is not smart but it's still one I don't want to do that though. I just want 0.5s. I 
I'm going to take one more. That should give us three bars. And be lighter than carrying a whole bunch of one kilogram pieces. There we go. determined this bear isn't a thing right now uh, in this run so can you actually climb up these not really oh I'm stuck <laughs> There we go. And I get up on top. There we go. Let's just chill here. Can you make a fire up here? You shouldn't be able to because you're on top of wood, but. It would be pretty cool if you could actually just warm up. Warm your bones. Oh well. Well, fifteen minutes with three bars. You dare me? An hour and a half. <laughs> That'll bring us right into nighttime. It's almost. Uh, is there any more crates? That's a tire. Uh, and I'm sorry, I shouldn't be, uh, whipping the mouse back and forth. Well, I think it looks like if we do get an Aurora, it looks like it might be a fairly safe journey. Go this way. I really should. You know what? The next time uh, we have full condition, I should grab some deer meat that's uncooked and just start eating it. I would want to do it with 0.5 pieces though. And then cancel it right at the end so I can get like, like uber small pieces that really don't weigh anything. Cause it's not, I'm not carrying them to, to weigh myself down. I'm carrying them to, to have scent. And being weighed down just I don't know. It, it annoys me, but maybe it annoys you all too, right? Who wants to walk slow? I like walking fast. But, I mean, we could always do this. It's not that bad. I'm trying, I'm heading in this direction because sometimes there's a bear up this way. And maybe I just need to be closer. And who knows, maybe there's a wolf. Green bear. Yes. Dark out here. If I get my wish and we get an Aurora, this guy will be dangerous. I don't think I'm going to get because he's way up there. Let's go check out this cave I never knew about till recently. <laughs> I think it was this run that I first found this cave, right? If 
I go in there and it says new location, then I'll know it was last run, but I think it was this run. Never really came into this little nook here. Yeah, we found it already. You don't have food in this cave, you're ashamed of yourself. Oh, merd. Uninstall your game, please, you amateur. <laughs> oh, listen. Aha. We got our wish. We got our wish. I'm drinking that because I want to make it to the other place. Um, where? Because I don't want to carry scent now, do I? You get, Do you want me to carry three bars of scent whilst we go looking for these? Should we do that? It's not the smartest thing to do, but it is more exciting than playing it safe. There's no excitement in playing it safe. Let's do it. Yeah, we need to wait for it to kick into effect, but we can get closer. Um, we have 12 of those. We can probably get rid of them. up to me if I want to do the insane thing I yeah I'm gonna do it I am gonna head over to the community hall and get rid of the wood I honestly I think this has been kind of a boring episode so at least I have something right Like, look at this idiot. He's out at night in an Aurora walking around. And he has three bars of scent. But what people may not remember is that we haven't been able to find any predators lately either. So it might be okay. Unless, unless Aurora spawn predators. And I don't know that. I wouldn't be happy about it. Uh, Astrid. I mean, er, uh, Glastrid. I thought she was gonna break a wrist. Oh. Pretty, 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 pretty lights. Oh, we did get attacked. But. The wolf that attacked us, come on, that was, that was garbage. That was shenanigans. You can't, you can't be like, uh, I'll leave you alone. Uh, psych. I'm coming. All right. Feels like plus two. There's a bonus right there in that it's not actually freezing. I bet you there's some people in there that don't know you can actually go in the back door. Drop y'all. And... Where is there? There's got to be a radio in here, right? On the on the table to our right, there's got to be a radio. How can you not have a radio? Hope nobody needs. 
needs this anymore. Found it. We have speakers. <clears throat> Time number two for this season. What asking about a radio? Hey, it's community funded. Why is there not a radio? They have speakers. They can't be all for Father Thomas to project his voice to the back. They even have a computer. Well, I guess we'll f find. Yeah, it's still not kicked in yet. I'm trying to remember if there was a radio in the store. There's no point hanging out outside until we know that it's time to go, right? Um, turn the lantern off. Oh, there we go. It's on now. Hey, look what we did. We got a new buffer memory. And we're off. Yeah, I think you're right, Murd. I think it's across. I think it's across the bridge. We have to do. We have to do this. Oh, it doesn't do it. No fair. No fair. When I take the screenshot, it, it makes my scent bars disappear. I thought it would be interesting to show that for a, uh, a thumbnail. Wow, it's far. Getting closer. Actually, I gotta, I, I mean, you need the radio. Shell. That's not bad. That's that's one of those ones if you're using guns It ain't bad. Oh great <laughs> Okay now um, We'll just take it with us Yes, I am gonna go check around the fishing hut and Signal Hill. 
But I'm kind of wondering if I should ditch the gun or if I should just bring it. I have to remember too, like when I, if, if I'm here and I go to hit a uh, weapon, hey, it brought out my bow. Why? Why? It's always brought out. Is it because I now have a gun? Is that messing everything up? Right, the rifle's the first weapon now. Well. I'm gonna drop the rifle off here. Because we don't want... What is that? Oh, that's a light, okay. I thought it was eyes. All right, let's go in here. We'll drop it. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. Uh, right there. And you're empty already, anyways. Um, I probably shouldn't be eating. Let's eat this stuff. We have five of the point five wolf meat and zero two nine. So I'm just going to guess that I don't have three bars. Oh, I do. Nice. Okay. No more eating. So now when we do this, it'll be the uh, flare gun and the flare gun is loaded. Let's go. And watch out for glowing animals. You can use those street lights if you don't know you can use those street lights for uh, safety as well during auroras the animals will leave you alone if you're inside the light like right now now i don't know if you had three bars of scent if they still will leave you alone i'm assuming that they always leave you alone inside the light. But that's just a guess. Just trying to listen. If I get quiet, that's what I'm doing. I'm listening. Trying to hear if I hear any howling in the distance or... What's going on? There's our three bars. over right there's where we're also headed right, it's all good here Is that a wolf straight ahead? It is. Wow. 
Wow. That guy was booking. I. Hey, where did they all go? I didn't draw on him while he was running though like okay here's I gotta pick up all of the stuff I'm not carrying three bars of scent anymore I just want to make sure I got all my stuff um, I don't know why it dropped them and kind of hid them that's better so we had those and we have this one. Yeah. And let's do this. Actually, we, we kind of need this out. Uh, and I'm not going to lie. I, I turned too early. So, I mean, I'm supposed to go to the other bridge. So I'm kind of in an area I'm not entirely familiar with. Retreat, retreat, retreat. All right, in hindsight, carrying three bars of scent was stupid. Just nothing else but stupid. <laughs> But man, did that wolf run fast. <laughs> really? You don't say? <laughs> look at, they all look like moose markings. Why is that? I'm going to stay on the road. Is that a thing? Like the, the auroras actually respawn the animals? We spent half the stream walking around looking for them and there's nothing. If I do have to shoot at one of these guys I will be intending to hit them rather than just scaring them off but if it turns out that I end up missing that's you know that's fine but we need them to be damaged feels like minus four and the wind is picking up. Um, should have that out at this point again. And I don't want to run because I want to keep my alertness that I have. Uh, you know what? Let's do that. That helps. You believe in Aurora can cause more animals to appear. Well, that's a frightening thought. Oh, 
Hopefully it only made them appear way over there <laughs> And not up in this area And right, we can start cutting across All right, I'm still just trying to listen. Oh, we got another cache. Now is it up there? It's got to be, right? This is this would be the the fishing hut one. We do signal cache hunting very differently. Murd tries to go out rested and just sprint the boat, flare gun out, waiting to hear the further radio. I do it when I'm tired. And I keep the radio out because I don't trust it to make a noise. It's, it's, it's that thing, right? Where like 86 times it's worked properly. And there was that one time where it didn't give us a signal. So I just make the assumption it's never going to work again. This will be, I hope this is a good one. A good one for our run. I don't even know what a good one is though. Yeah, the beep stopped because it's over there. But we have to go up the hill first. It'll start beeping. As soon as we start heading in its direction. Yeah, I don't know anybody that can actually complain about these signal caches or anything though. I mean, this is something that was for the most part unheard of, right? walking around at nighttime during an aurora and now there's a reason to actually do it so even if you get junk i mean it's still the excitement of what am i gonna find right now if you're writing down everything that you find eh, that's a little different story right because now you're not gonna have any excitement but for me Oh, hello. Did I say I hate being cold? Oh. Yes, I really do. Yeah, come to daddy. Thank you. For me, if I like get a if I get a signal cache and then I get it again six months later, I'm not gonna know what's in there. Why does this log look like it's screaming for me to cross it? I legit don't think I've ever been here. Just going out on a limb and saying that. <laughs> Is it close? It's close. Oh, that's, you know what? I'm calling that good. Now, is this what you would call the, the, the signal hill one? Or would you call that 
the uh, fishing hut. I think it's time to retreat. Do I if I don't warm up? Yeah, we're cold now. It's getting chilly. Let's go down this way. You call this one the uh, Signal Hill Cache. There is one that can be closer to the fishing hut. I'm pretty sure we were close enough to the fishing hut though that we would have triggered it if there was. So I don't think we got that one. Oh, son of a... I don't care. I'm trying to get out of here though. That's gonna happen. Um... Just run. Thing is, I'm in a I'm in a spot where I don't really know where I'm at. I believe I'm supposed to go that way. Is this already like almost the birch forest? That left. <laughs> Thanks, Merd. Uh, you know what? I'm going to make a fire and warm up and craft some birch bark or cook it. Copper, welcome in. How are you doing? There we go. Let's. Where are you? Oh, I don't have enough water. Dang it. Okay. Uh, what to do? What to do? What to do? I'll just drop some. Where is it? Drop one of those. I can't really drink anything. Aside from this. I should drop that. Although I wonder if I eat that, it'll, it'll dry me out. And we're actually done with that. Uh... I think we're just gonna drink this and go. We can't run. I was considering drinking a coffee. But I chose not to because when, I, when we go to go to bed, I wanna be able to at least drink a herbal tea. But man, it would be pretty nice to be able to sprint right now. Oh, Murd ate grilled cheese and ham and a croissant. Oh, now I want one. And a croissant. Say croissant again, please, pretty please, whatever. Why? Because I say it wrong? I'm not going to be like Mr. Croissant. I actually don't like that word. <laughs> you thought you heard it wrong? I just call it a croissant. A croissant. 
Give me a crescent. Oh, you heard crescent. <laughs> That's uh, they. What doesn't Pillsbury make crescent rolls? I did air quotes there. They're basically the same thing. It's just they decided to call it a different name that everyone can pronounce. I want ham and cheese anything right now. Thanks, Murd. <laughs> that wasn't a real thank you. Yeah, croissant. Give me a croissant. Give me one of those crescent shaped things. Looks like a bagel with a bite out of it, kinda. <laughs> but tastier. Alright, we're at home. We have to go in to the basement. We can't run still. Alright, we are safe. Finally. Give me moon bread. Yeah, I like that one. Moon bread. That's, that's a good name. Throw you right there. Uh, throw you there. You can go there. And we can go upstairs. I'm sleeping in a bed. That's, that's, that's what I'm doing just in case, uh, but I'm also grabbing some meat, uh, just in case there is a thing somehow that beds give more health back than your bag. I don't know. Uh, and we need, wow. Remember when we had a bit of water? Let's have a bit more water. I think uh, two reclaimed wood and a stick gives you like a, enough time. Come on, little fire. One thirty-eight, and it's like one twenty-four. There we go. Play that funky music. Oh, that was the sound just all went quiet. Uh, ten, ten, ten. Okay. Raid's here. Raid. 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 Yes, raid. Hey, Kimiota. Welcome in. Thank you for the raid and welcome in raiders. I'm actually just about to go to bed and end my stream, but I thank you so much. Um, right there. Yeah. So for those of you on YouTube, uh, thank you for watching. If you like what you saw, please like and subscribe and I will see you all tomorrow.